Hello everyone, my name is Kostin Karabash and today I will be presenting the importance of composability using the Multiverse X ecosystem. Following, I will make a brief description on DEX, governance and pre-solutions and will conclude with a small tutorial, an example of how composability works. As previously mentioned, I will start with an example of composability in the Multiverse X ecosystem. Next, I will describe three composable solutions, the decentralized exchange, the governance, and the bridge. The video will conclude with a smart contract example of how we can use the existing solutions to solve more complex problems. Let's think about the PC manufacturers like HP, Dell, or Lenovo. They are composing hardware parts with an existing operating system to build great products for the users. So, two key components that better describe composability are building blocks. Let's take an example from the Multiverse X ecosystem, the UTK token. It was originally minted on Ethereum and it was bridged on Multiverse 6. This is the first component. Moreover, liquidity pools are now available on X exchange. This enables trading on our ecosystem. Furthermore, the first governance vote was UTK Economics proposal. The vote was performed using UTK tokens. This was possible with the help of bridge solution. Lastly, lending and borrowing UTK tokens are available using Hayton protocol. We can see how lending solution is built on several other products available in the ecosystem, the bridge and the X exchange. Next, we have a brief discussion on DEX. In traditional finance, users go to banks and exchange offices to swap currencies. This is, has a lot of limitations which are not been discussed today. In centralized exchanges, users can swap cryptocurrencies, but they have to give up custody to these platforms. DEX are decentralized and users have full custody of their assets. There are other advantages, but this is not in the scope of the presentation. The most important aspect is what DEX is offering users to build upon. Users or smart contracts can query token prices or can swap tokens. Investors can earn rewards by depositing, depositing tokens, while startups gain visibility via metabolic component. The exchange is one of the most important building blocks of the ecosystem. Governance is a dynamic and community-driven process that empowers token holders to actively participate in the decision-making. This structured structure encourages active engagement from stakeholders, aligning the platform's development with the collective interests of the community. This was the first governance vote using an EATT token, the UTK token. All blockchains develop in their own environments and have different rules and consensus mechanisms. This means they cannot natively communicate and tokens cannot move freely between blockchains. Bridges exist to connect blockchains allowing the transfer of information and tokens. This connectivity enables cross-chain DeFi activities such as token migrations. UTK, Ethereum, Bitcoin and stablecoins are some of the bridge tokens. So, the bridge is the building block for the previous three components we discussed. So, following, we will discuss a case study, a small tutorial uh, about the crowdfunding with the X exchange. But before that, I'd like you to um, I'd like to show you some resources. So, here are the presentations uh, for the hackathon and some documentations for you to read regarding X exchange governance and bridge. And also, I'd like to invite you to be part of the Multiverse X online communities on Telegram and on Discord. Okay, so let's jump to, the, to our smart contract. This is our smart contract, the crowdfunding smart contract. It's also used it's an example in the documentation so if you want to to learn more about it just jump to the documentation 
briefly, it has an init function, a, a fund endpoint where the user can fund the smart contract, and some view functions here to query uh, some data, and after that, another claim endpoint. Um, okay. Um, okay, so... I made a slightly modified version of this crowdfunding smart contract. So I added another module, the pair actions module, uh, where I um, I created a pair proxy. This pair proxy uh, allows us to communicate with the uh, exchange and um, with the pair. What we will use in this tutorial is a UTK in GLD pair. Let's go to the UTK. This is the, the pair. So this is the address and it allows us to, to query the price and even swap tokens. So this proxy, I only use the get save price uh, view to query the price. So what we will do is give on uh, the pair address, this address, and, and a payment. So the payment will be the UTK with um, the amount of four. And um, see how many in GLD equivalent for this payment uh, we'll, we'll, we will get. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we, we will use this endpoint to create a storage where the token ID, UTK, uh, is stored among, along with the pair address. Uh, again, it's this address. Okay, and uh, we have here another function. It's not an endpoint, it's just a function uh, with the get price. So I have a token ID and amount, and uh, what it does is get the pair address from this storage I uh, previously mentioned and uh, call the pair proxy with this function and uh, as I said create a, a token payment with the, the this will be the UTK and the amount will be 4 and once we get um, to this point we will get uh, we will create an event so we uh, it's kind of a debugging um, event to know that the, the, the get price successfully executed and yeah, well, we will use this function in the fund endpoint. So the fund endpoint will be called with a payment, with a single EACT payment. Um, as I said, the UDK and the, the four, this is actually the amount here. And some checks, and after the checks, what we are going to do is get price. Remember this function queries the exchange and gives us the equivalent in EGLD of for UTK. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump to the. So I create. Uh, we will use this uh, this script, this bash script. I already completed my data with my private key and uh, the the uh, UTK token converted to hexa, uh, this uh, pair address converted to hexadecimal, and let's uh, let's uh, let's deploy it. Okay, so I'm going to source the the best tree first, so we can have the functions here. I call deploy, and let's go to the transaction. And the most recent transactions should be our transaction, the the deploy. This is my account. Okay, so it sees it is successfully de uh, deployed. We have here in the terminal the contract address, and I'm going to update it here. Okay, next, what we're going to do is call this add UTK pair. Let's remember what it does. The add UTK pair, um, it uh, firstly does some checks here. And after that, the pair address for token, it's a storage that stores the, the token ID, 
uh, UTK for us and a managed address, which is the address of the EGLD and UTK pair. Okay, so let's do that. Let's add, uh, because I modified the base script, I need to source it again. Um, let's call the add UTK pair and it will call this function. Uh, let's go to the explorer, go to my address. Okay, so I call the EdTK pair. It seems that it was successfully executed. Okay. And now that the smart contract knows what pair should call um, for UTK, let's send some funds. Okay, send funds. Let's wait for the and going to be executed. Okay, so we have here the fund method. Uh, let's remember what it does. The fund method takes an, uh, a token. Let's go to the fund method. Okay. So, um, for the snippets, um, for the, uh, as the arguments, uh, I did an ESDT transfer with the UTK token and the UTK amount. This is actually for uh, nominate denominated. So I used here to denominate four, and after that I converted it to hexa. And voila, this is my number here. Uh, and after that, the fund endpoint name. This is the way we call ESD transfer. You can check the documentation for more details. Okay, so this is our call. I'm more east interested in the logs. So this is the event for uh, the built-in event for the ESD transfer. So apparently we made an ESD transfer with the UTK and the four, uh, and this is the smart contract. After that, these two. Um, these two events are created by us the identify its fund because this is the function we call. Okay, this is the endpoint. Uh, firstly, let's see uh, what is the first event. Get price event. Get price event. It's this event. Get price event here, which was called at the get price function. So um, first we, we call this endpoint and when we got here get price, the get price executed this function. It also queried the pair proxy and got to this event. This is only a let's say debugging event so we know that it got here successfully. Okay, we have here the, the pair address. Let's look at the, uh, the pair address a little bit. So just as a confirmation. Okay, this is the pair, the correct pair address, UTK EGLD. Uh, the token ID and the amount, token ID and the amount. Okay, let's look at the second event, the fund event, the fund, event it's here the find event and it has from token amount and amount in EGLD from token amount and amount in EGLD okay and it's called here after the get price okay and the um, the caller it's me this is my address uh, the token it's a UTK the amount it's for uh, denominated by 80 zeros and after that is the amount in EGLD here is the amount let's let's check that in the X exchange we put here four and we have here 0 0.0158 and if we go here and nominate this guy 
Oh, I already did that. Okay. So 0 0.0159. Um, so if you want to, to also uh, make the exchange, convert UTK to the uh, NGLD, you can add another endpoint here that will call the pair, exchange the tokens, and give you the EGLD you, you want. The main idea here is that we created a solution that composed the crowdfunding smart contract and the X exchange. And we can use these two solutions to create a, um, a new one. So this is my invitation to you to build the next great product by using different components, by composing existing solution to build a new great one. Okay, so one last note is to read the documentation and be part of the online communities. Thank you and have fun building.